and greetings gamers and welcome back to Let's Play Pirates of the Caribbean New Horizons. Last time we left off, we went to see Sir Cutlet Beckett, who gave us 10,000 in gold and told us to double his money. Well, not exactly, but he told us to make a profit on it, which is what we intend to do, by basically plundering ships and, you know, not doing anything with the money <laughs> at all, in fact. Maybe acquiring more money. Make sail, make sail, So don't expect any um, pirate colours of Jamaica. There we go, that's what we want to see. A snow brig as well, uh, those are nice ships. The trick is finding where this bastard is located. You can assume it's not near this fort here, or it would have been blown to pieces by now. I think we have a winner. Come on, you. In the fog. Yeah, that's gotta be it. Save the bit in first person view to catch up to this guy. That's at the helm. Yeah, yeah you wouldn't see Jack. <laughs> Can't see anything with this sail. I mean, I, don't, I suppose you don't really need to, that's why you have like a captain on this side and people on the other side to tell you where to go, really. Wow, this guy's... this guy outpacing us? What we are gonna want is... Uh, Load gun with chain, oh, Captain. Chain shot, so we can take out this guy's bloody sails. Because we need to board them. Okay, I'll have to go like dead into the wind to even attempt to catch up. Come on, you're doing a good job. Lando. God damn you! He's got away, hasn't he? Who? That's a pirated Zebek, though. The swordfish. Swordfish Zebek. Hispaniola. I didn't know the French own Hispaniola. That's an interesting concept. Anyway, as my personal flag is flying, we are not at war with the French. So it's all good. This video could take a while. I am actually thinking of just going to Nevis and plundering the pirate port. Oh, there. Yeah, I see what you mean. Are those? That's a jolly boat. Strike them down. Aye, aye. That is a jolly boat. What, you seriously telling me we didn't pick him up? Hmm, don't we get like a recognition of, you know, your reputation increased the bloke. Make sale. Good job. Right, those are the French ships, obviously. Let's, let's just have a look at the map here. So with Hispaniola. How's that possible? Oh, we were at Jamaica. Okay. I'm not assaulting Tortuga, that's a death trap. So, if we're at Hispaniola, I need to sail south. Go to Navis, basically attack that pirate port. And we'll be in. Right? That's the only thing I can think of. But how, how do you attack a pirate port in, uh, in this one? I can't remember how I did last video, so good lord. How am I gonna figure out this time? But anyway, seeing as the only thing we can attack here is actually pirates. I know, the irony. 
but you know, pirates, I'm assuming pirates near pirate port? You know, they, they're coming into port with all their goods. Not to mention if I go to Nevis, I'll, I might have some help via British ships. We'll just sell south. We've done this trek before, folks. We know where we're going. No music this time around, because this is an actual sea-based mission, and not just sailing between islands. So I don't think you guys deserve music. Besides, you guys get to see, uh... Well, you know, you basically saw what I was doing before. Nothing's changed. Why is there fog everywhere? Plando. Okay, music. Starboard beam. Let's put it back. Right, so that's... Sorry, accidentally restarted perhaps. So we're here. I need to sail... Basically east. I need to hit Puerto Rico before I go down. So, comply with me, wind. Ah, sails. Okay, mechanics didn't fire, so they must have been friendly. That's a good way to test that they're friendly. Well, no. Just fire your cannons. Puerto Rico, there we go. Off the port bow, you can see it there. Barely. To Puerto Rico, so now we head south. And since we're on this side of the island, in theory, we should hit Nevis and not Martinique. Lando. Okay, that is Puerto Rico. Spanish, French. There's why are there no bloody none? Not a single bloody pirate. I tell you, thank god they have this like glitchy thing where you can see the land, because I can't see the land there. At all. In the fog. Lando. Come on. Come on, Nevis, there we go, pirate, 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 British, British. Cabrera's Costilla 6 with ship type 4? AI cannon, that can't be good. Where's port bow? Okay, so it's over there. Turn it around. Well, I'm not approaching. You gotta be shitting. You just told me it was over there. Ah, oh, there it is. Okay, let's get ready for some party. Dismantle vessel off the starboard bow. Where? These guys have good eyesight, man. Oh, there. Oh yeah, that's a dismantled vessel, all right. Whoa. Oh no, we just, we were looking at that ship. Oh, nice. Right. These people seem to be struck in colors, which is not good, because I want to sink, I want to, you know, sink them, but capture them. Is that a ship? No, those are rocks. Ah, I see ships. Black sails. Oh, it was the British ships that... Seriously, the British surrendered? Oh, we have set chain shots, so we should be, in theory, able to slow these fuckers down. Because they can outpace us in this big-ass ship. 
Okay, I'm on you. I'm having you. Got the wind on my back. I can outrun you with the wind. Sail ho! Don't you dare make him disappear. Son of a bitch. We basically just made the pirate disappear and brought two British ships. Oh, you put them behind me. You motherfuckers. God damn you game. And I'm against the wind now. Why do you do this to me? Let go after these fuckers. I don't care about you. I suppose I could just hoist the colours, but... <laughs> okay, now you're just fucking with me. Come on, wind. Stop being a pussy. Help me out a little. Oh, look, they're fucking in the wind, man. I'm not gonna catch these assholes. This will be the hour-long video, folks, you've been waiting for. I can sense it already. Wind, if you could change now, that would be nice. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, where are you pointing? Okay, you basically turned around there, mate. I can barely see with my, you know, my screen is dirty and I can barely see Land these fuckers. Out. Oh, you son of a bitch. Let me guess. They've moved again? Yeah, you almost got me killed, game. Is this still Nevis? I have no way of knowing, really. Some bloke gained a level, good for him. Okay, where's Nevis? I'm just gonna attack the settlement. If I find it, I'm attacking that settlement. I'm assuming this is Nevis still. Because honestly, it could be anything at this point. I wouldn't be surprised if this is Martinique. If this is Hispaniola, even. And again, facing the goddamn wind. Thank you, lucky charms, we're not playing in realistic mode. We wouldn't be going forward, we would be going backwards. Okay, that's a ship. I don't suppose I can hail him for news, like, what the fuck is this island? What's it doing here? Well, I know what it's doing there, but... Never mind. Dip, dip, swerve, dip, dip, swerve. Okay, yeah, I don't know what this island is. But... Because that's like a cove there. I'm actually gonna check my maps. Does this one actually look like Nevis? Or not at all? I suppose it kinda does. I mean, if we started there... around that thing, there was that thing there, and then this curvy thing, and then this. So in theory that would be Nevis, in there. I'm assuming here really, I have no idea of knowing. So let's just approach. I don't think I can sack it though, that's the problem. That seems to be a fort. I don't remember Nevis having a big ass fort. Oh, where the hell am I? 
Is this Charlestown? Is this what that is? Okay, I'm gonna pull over and ask for directions. This is all due to me, you know, using the speeding feature. Don't Start you forget it. Aye, aye. Where, what the hell is this? I genuinely don't know. Those look Mexican. Am I... Okay. Not that I'm lo not loving. I think this is one of the scenery they ported for Major Pirates. It definitely looks like it. Could you spare a moment, kind sir? Okay. Why do something? I sort of needed to find someone who uh, not spoke as the English, but uh, actually knew what the hell this place was. If you can just like look at the store or something, well unfortunate. This must be the shipyard. No, that's just a house. Ah, there's the shipyard. What the Peter? I am on Martinique. <laughs> Aren't I? Yes, heroic music plays when you arrive at Martinique. No, that's his son. I'm on Guadeloupe? Where the fuck am I? Okay, I'm here. I'm in here. So, oh, good God. Right, tell you what. I'm gonna spare you guys the me trekking back to Thingy. <laughs> These people have no idea their captain is lost. So, um... Stay tuned and we'll be right back at Nevis. Right, we're back at Nevis and wouldn't you know it, not a single pirate ship in sight. <laughs> Thanks, game. Thanks. You, you really showed me your nice, compassionate side. So it looks like my only hope is really to sack the pirate settlement that's over here. That looks to be dead in front of where we are, over there on our right. So let's try it, I suppose. I mean, what have we got to lose? I am naturally gonna say first, because I'm not a retard. Those look like pirate ships to me. Okay, those on my right look like British ships, but that one in distance might just be like the weathered sails playing tricks on me. Okay, I'm gonna have to slow this bastard down because we got a lot of ships over here. Yeah, that was definitely a British ship. Look at this, all British ships. So can I sack this place? I don't even think I can. Land troops. <laughs> Let's do it. I remember this getting massive rewards for this last time, so. Dude, you're in my way, sir. Whoa, fire the cannons. Okay, good, good job, good job team. Very much a team effort there. Let's just loot corpses. That was very much a Jack Sparrow sort of fight. Just stand in the background, let everyone else fight. You don't have to bloody your hands. Only fight if you need to. There's no such thing as a small profit. Okay, is that it? Have you guys like disappeared? No, you're just <laughs> dudes. The uh, port this way. Okay, yeah, we they gave up. Good. So you fight three dudes. 
Talk to the pirate chief and get, yeah, that much money. Now we remain neutral of everyone. We gain quite a bit of experience. And basically we just become hostile with pirates who we were hostile with anyway. Yeah, that's how much money we have. I think Atle Beckett has found his return. <laughs> now I want to get Mouth the Gunfighter. Player is now an expert gunman and an experienced pirate leader. Player can use extraordinary set of pistols. Don't know what that means, but sounds sexy. Nope, oh, that's all oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, I can actually just move around now. Okay. To the shipyard then, I want to <laughs> improve my ship. To my knowledge, this has like no other repercussions. Seriously. You can do that and the pirates are still all star with you, so it doesn't change much. It's just I think the pirate leader won't talk to you, but he wouldn't talk to you before. So no loss. Watch your See? And your These guys will still deal with you. And actually we're not gonna trade in the ship. What we want to do is cancel. Uh, yeah, I'll install some copper. Yeah, so you have to be in a pirate port to get this. Flushing involves removal of the ship's superstructure, making them more frigate-like. A flush deck in vessel benefits from reduced top weight and thus improved sea keeping. So I hope you guys looked at my stats before I started upgrading. There we go. Uh, let me just check the appearance. There you go. You see, we currently have this one. An East India Trading Company vessel, the first ship under Captain Jack Sparrow. This one, Captain Jack Sparrow's beloved ship as she was before falling victim to a terrible curse. Then we have Captain Jack Sparrow's beloved ship, freed of her curse, and crewed by the damned and captained by a man so evil, hell itself spat him back out. Now, the thing is, this ship actually trails fog. It's that awesome. But we'll do that later. I don't want to, like, break cannon and anything, even though it, it would be hilariously fun to do so. Yeah, these are our stats now. Wicked ass. Superior morale? I should think so, with all the money I've got. Although that did, I did lose a bit of food. Let's go to the store. I, I call that a success. <laughs> Two million coins. Are you looking for something, Captain? Um, do you guys have sextants? Because that would just make the whole thing epically worth it. Sadly, though, in case you haven't been noticed. Uh, I need to lose a lot of money to get between the 50 and the, uh, what was it, 50% and 100% return. At this stage I've got over 100%, which means we would in fact skip a quest. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to call the video here. And if you guys want me to... Do that little side quest. It basically involves, I believe it involves, you know what, two seconds, I'm gonna check this out and I'll be right back. Yep, it basically involves go saving a man, but uh, we do meet Thomas the Terror again. And I'm quite uh, <laughs> curious as to how that would work, considering that he's technically still with me due to a glitch. But, um, meh. I assume they spawn a new guy, so as long as I don't have Thomas the Terror with me, even if I have Thomas the Terror with me, it shouldn't change much. And I believe, in fact, that I can solve this problem easily by going to the Lone Shark's office. Oh, this guy's totally trustworthy. 
Could you spare a moment, kind sir? Besides that, thank you. Oi! Nay, nay, this can't be happening! I got my money back, thank you. <laughs> I want to store some booty. Three quarters of my wealth. Because the thing is, the more money you have, the more mo uh, morale will go down because the crew wants some of that cash, you know what I'm saying? Quarter of my wealth. Uh. Damn, that's just a quarter is that much. That is way... Okay, I'm just... I'll put three quarters of my wealth down. I suppose. I'm not losing all of it that way. It's, you know, it's one... How much is it? To do one million six... Yeah. <laughs> it's over one million cash. I think I can survive with that. Because I happen to know... And we get interest on it. That works. So in theory, you could just like give this guy the 10,000. And just wait. <laughs> like a couple of months for the return to come back. That would be a cowardly way of doing it. But uh, yeah, that leaves us with 537. I think that's a very respectable return. But shit, that's not... Wait, can I... S Drop more off? Maybe I can drop more off at a different port? Yep, I can't. So we'll leave that there. I'll tell you what, we'll leave that there. And we'll go... I'll go to Tortuga. Nah, you see? Because I believe each loan shark office is unique. I believe this could be complete tomfoolery on my part. So I'll go do that now. Because I really want to do this mission. And if it ends up glitching... Well, I can always get the money back and just... Skip it. That's the beauty of it. So let's go to C. And if I need money again, I can just make sail, re. Make uh, sail, I can just plunder these guys again. <laughs> Free money, dude. All right, let's go north to Tortuga. I'm not gonna let you guys see this. Um, tune in next time. We have deposited my money at Tortuga, and I'm back in Jamaica to go see Cutler Beckett for the next part of this story. So until then, folks. Until then.